Hey guys, hi. So we are back with a new question. Next question of exercise 1.3. That is question number three. Okay. So I hope you all might be ready. Shuru karte hai. Now I uh, I'll give you the context. Those who are not knowing. So we are discussing chapter first, class tenth, NCERT, CBSE, where we are doing real numbers. That is the chapter first, and in that real numbers we are doing exercise 1.3, and this is question number three. Okay. Chalo to shuru karte hai. So the question says that prove that the following are irrationals. So just before this video, you would have seen question number first and second of this exercise first uh, exercise 1.3 only. Us exercise me in that exercise what I have taught you that how to prove any rum, any number irrational. So say for example uh, in that exercise I have taught you that if you have a number like uh, say for example root 2 or root 5 in, in that previous question we had talked about root 5 so i taught you that if you have root 5 you will assume it p by q and then squaring both side and putting 5 this side and then finding the common factors and then proving that our control uh, our assumption was wrong method of contradiction Thoda yaad hai. so the same we will do here itself uh, here also what we are going to do 1 by root 2 is given i will again assume that 1 by root 2 let 1 by root 2 is a rational number the same method of contradiction after this, I'll write that if this is a rational number, you'll write it p by q. Then you will do a reciprocal of this. You'll write root 2 is equals to q by p. And then finally, you'll write that since p by q is a rational number, therefore q by p will also be a rational number. But we know that root 2 is irrational. Therefore, our assumption is wrong. And hence, this number will be irrational. You don't have to prove again root 2 as irrational. In that previous question also I had made you understand this, isn't it? That you don't have to prove again, time and again, that okay, this is irrational or this is rational. Okay, you don't need to prove it. In, in At least in these such type of questions where uh, it is not directly being asked you uh, asked from you that prove root 5 irrational or prove root 2 irrational. Okay, I hope you understood that. Chalo, let's move on. Uh, if you understood, so uh, same about 7 root 5. So if I talk about 7 root 5, exactly same method. 7 root 5 is equals to P by Q. Method of contradiction, you will send this 7 to this side. So you will get root 5 is equals to P upon 7 Q. Fine. Once you got this, now you will write same thing that since P by Q was a rational number, therefore P by 7 Q will also be a rational number. But we know that root 5 is an irrational and irrational cannot be equal to rational. Hence, our assumption is wrong. Therefore, this is an irrational number. Exactly the same statement everywhere. You have to just cut copy paste without even thinking twice. One important thing that in these type of questions, you will not prove again root 5 ir irrational completely. Although in the previous video, I had made you, I had uh, given you a precautionary note that in your school, what happens that most of the time teacher says ki you have to write the entire proof. So at that time, don't mess with the teacher. Don't show him my video that sir, he is saying that don't write it in the boards and so on just follow what he is saying because in school he is the everything so in boards you don't need to write it but in school if he is saying or she is saying please write it okay chalo and same goes for this 6 plus root 2 so 6 plus root 2 you will again assume is equals to p by q send this 6 to this side so you will have root 2 is equals to p by q minus 6 this q will go here you will have p minus 6 q upon q is equals to root 2 Fine. So we got this. Eureka. Balle balle. Okay. Chalo. So I guess that was all for this. Uh, okay. I'll just show you the solution as well. Here's the mode. So solution as well. The same way. Exactly the same what we did. 7 root 5. The same thing. Root 5 equals to 7 uh, x by y. 7 root 5. And then 7 going to, to the denominator. x upon 7 y. x and y are integers. So x by 7 y will be a rational number. And we know that. This is irrational. So it can't be equal. Our assumption was wrong. The same way we did here as well. Okay. Fine. So yes, that was all for this video. And those who have liked this video, do not forget to like this video and share it with your friends. At the same time, if you want to join or if you wish to join Vedantu and learn live online with all the awesome and fantabulous master teachers, this is the gateway. Vedantu has solved all the problems faced by you guys on the online education that is doubts, notes, assignments, test, competitive examination preparation, choice of schedule that you can actually take a session at your time and there are and at the end but not at the least choice of language as well. 
Okay, so Vedantu has taken care of all such things. You can join it because all these problems has been solved by Vedantu on its Wave platform. You can experience that in each session, we do a lot of masti, a lot of learning. Every question comes up with like a quiz, like we do on Menti, Menti quiz. And learning is not just learning, man. Learning is super fun here. So I can guarantee you that. Okay, so follow this link. Uh, vdnt.in slash ytpro mind it that here vdnt.in is in small letters ytpro is in capital letters use the coupon code hppro for getting the discount and balle balle eureka you are into the vedantu courses fine so i'll be waiting for all of you in this vedantu live sessions till then bye bye take care and good night bye bye